Hello folks, Bronco Bob here with Texas Best Used Motorcycles. Here today to show you a really cool rig. It's the last year of this body style. It's a 1964 Kaiser Jeep and they actually called it the Wagoneer. The early versions they called the Willis Wagon and that's when Willis owned Jeep. This is the deluxe model. It's got the roof rack on top. And I believe it's made out of stainless steel. It also has the moldings that go down the side. And I'm told this was some special tribute to the military edition with this uh, jet airplane on the hood. But I don't know. I've Googled and I can't find anything on it. But it's supposed to be something kind of rare. The gentleman that I got this from, he bought it from a guy in New Mexico. And he drove it all the way back to Oklahoma. Said he took three days and took his time. He took it, stripped it all down, and painted it. He said it just didn't have any rust on it. He got some of the interior parts painted, the dash, the floor, and he restores airplanes. So he got back into some airplane restorations and kind of lost interest in the Jeep. So when I got it, it was all painted, the bumpers were off, the interior was out of it, the glass was out of it. So we basically put it together, had the seats upholstered, got the wood runners done and stained. And what's cool about this rig, a lot of it is original, like the headliner is original, these door panels are original, armrests, all that's original equipment. The rubber mat, um, probably was aftermarket back in the day. It's got glove boxes under the seat. And we chose kind of a tan vinyl, which really turned out nice. It's got the original steering wheel, which actually has the W for Willis. And what I think's cool, it's got some original square uh, Stuart Warner gauges, which I think those are, those are rare, very rare. Then somebody put in a cassette player back in the day. It doesn't work. You got a parking brake here. And some of the welting is separating, but we just kind of left it like that. It's got these uh, sunshades like Grandma used to have in her Cadillac. You pull them down, kind of blocks the sun. It's also got them in the back as well. There's ashtrays in the back. Of course, back in the old days, everything had ashtrays. Showing 2,579 miles. It's probably rolled over once. Um, we did some dress up on the engine, but it ran good, didn't smoke, so there was no need to pull it apart and rebuild it. And it's the uh, overhead cam six cylinder, which is actually used in some of the military vehicles. We painted the trim that goes around the windows and put stainless steel screws. So it's kind of a survivor partial restoration. Survivor in that a lot of it's original and restoration being the repaint, changing the tires, redoing the seats, but kept a lot of the uh, old school stuff. Thought you wanna go for a little test drive but the motor is peppy, it's the inline six. And I'll show it to you in a minute. It's an overhead cam, six cylinder. I'm driving with uh, one hand on the wheel, one hand holding the camera. So I can't really shift gears real good. But you can see the speedometer works, oil pressure gauge works, battery voltage. I'm gonna pull over right here and get out and walk around it. The color is really cool. It's kind of a baby blue. But they painted the inside, they painted the roof. It's got that nice uh, roof rack on it. Probably part of the deluxe package. And what intrigued me, the cigarette lighter says lighter, L-I-T-E-R. Thought that was interesting. 
Um, maybe that came from China, who knows. Uh, it's got a heater, old school, kind of an aftermarket add-on heater control. And that might have been original in 64, for all I know. It's got the original aluminum strip. Door handles are original. It's got the locking hubs. And these are kind of unusual. You basically pull them out and you rotate them. And then you stick them back in. And that's what locks locks the front hubs. Kind of a kind of a cool old design. I'm gonna go back here to the back. I love on these old vehicles, they don't use, of course they didn't have them then, the uh, those gas charge shocks that always wear out. It's got these good old hinges that will never fail. It also has a license plate bracket that flips up and that way when the tailgate's down you can you can haul wood and they can still see your license plate. Kind of cool. The early Broncos have something similar. These old latches are cool. They'll never fail. It's just all made out of metal. And uh, we put these runners back in like they were supposed to be. We stained them. We paint, took the seats apart. We painted the frames. Then had them recovered and also restored the window trim. Now some of the headliner, some of the parts, some of it's coming unraveled, but it's, again, that's, it's original. Original stuff. And that's where the spare tire was mounted. But I just kind of want to walk around it. It's just a beauty. It's got that little six cylinder hum. I'm gonna see if I can open the hood with one hand. Uh, we do have windshield wiper arms for it, but they were not in good shape. We're gonna get some new ones. I may have to let the camera go for just a second where I can open this. I love the this arm right here. Just part of a old school design. Looks like it's got a new radiator cap. But this is Jeep's, they call it, I, earlier I think I called it a hurricane, it's called the Tornado. Uh, it's an overhead cam, got a Holley two barrel. You can see a generator, water pump, fuel filter. It's got a new Duracell three year battery. Just a, a cool piece of history. The old, I believe that's an oil bath uh, air filter. And this, uh, what looks like cold air intake, is your heater box. And it gets cold air here from the outside. But the grill's in really good shape. This is your front license plate tabs. The front bumpers have a little bit of corrosion on them. But not, not bad. Just a cool rig. I'm gonna go walk around it one more time. The paint's really nice. They did a nice job when they refinished it. These moldings are stainless steel, so they're in really good shape. You can see the seats in good shape. They, they do fold forward, and that passenger side folds forward so you can crawl in and out. But she's a beauty. We're gonna list it on Bring a Trailer. Somebody's gonna get a really cool rig. Last year, the Willis Wagon I believe it's the first year that they call them Wagoneers. You can check that out on the internet and correct me if I'm wrong. These little latches will never wear out. Just a cool piece of history that you can drive around, take it to the store and enjoy. The brakes work, work good, the steering works good, it goes into four wheel drive. It's an early style Dana 18 transfer case, so it's a twin stick. And it's just a, a sweet little ride. But if you have any questions, give us a call. We're Texas Best Used Motorcycles in Mansfield, Texas. I love the exhaust manifold. It's basically a header design. But she does have a nice little drive and nice torque. It says right there, uh, Kaiser Jeep Corporation. Willis on the top. So I guess it was made by Willis 
under Kaiser and Jeep. I know somewhere in there they kind of changed hands. But have a great day. I'm Bronco Bob wishing you happy trails. Somebody's going to get a really sweet 1964, I'm going to call it a Willis Wagon, even though it says Wagoneer on the back. Have a great day. I'm Bronco Bob wishing you happy trails.